Warning, the following may contain sexual imagery, violence, and strong language. This may create a not safe for work environment. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously, at the Mountains of Badness, Shudo Issei failed to make a contract because of Dragon Ball shenanigans of all things. And now, the continuation. Welcome at the Mountains of Badness, where I, Nightmare Alpha, present to you the Eldritch Abominations of Literature. Today, in part 7 of our grand tour of high school DxD, we will, well, see what happens after Issei failed to make his job. Part 4 The next day, after school, huh, Ocho's angry. She's lifting her eyebrow, and she didn't say a single word. I'm standing in front of her, and my face is pale. How do you know that you're not looking in a mirror? Yesterday, I was playing Dragon Ball with my client, and finished one night with it. Oh yeah, Kiba said something like this with a bitter smile earlier. This kind of case has never happened before. Is he? The tone of her voice is deep and scary. Y yes You talked with a client about manga, and what happened after that? What about the contract? She came straight to the point. I have sweat, sweats coming out of me. Sweats? I think you mean sweat. B b the contract became invalid. We battle played a certain manga till morning. Battle played? Y yes you act as a character from a specific manga, and then start an imaginary fight. Oh. God! Why am I explaining something like this so seriously? I don't fucking know. Explaining this to her makes me want to cry. Eh, uh, don't worry, I want to cry already. <laughs> I know that a high school boy, I as I should, should be embarrassed. No, as a professional devil, I should be also embarrassed. I'm regretting it. I'm very sorry. I bow down my head while apologizing. Seriously. What on earth was I doing till morning? You played Dragon Ball, I think that is what you're doing. After the contract, we asked the client to fill the questionnaire on the lefflet we gave them. We asked the client, how was your contract with a devil? The questionnaire w which is filled appears in this lefflet, but Ucho shows the paper with a feedback of a questionnaire to me. So there is... A thing like that, huh? Devil's jobs are more complex than I thought. It was fun. It was the first time having a good time like this. I would like to meet Issei-kun again. I hope I can make good co a good contract with him next time. This is the questionnaire filled by the client. <gasps> My chest became hot! Morisawa-san, I wasn't able to do anything but you. This is the first time I received feedback like this. I wasn't sure what to do first. This is why I put a weird expression. I put on a weird expression because I didn't know how to react to this. Well, I certainly don't know how to react to this, so why should she? Bocho isn't mad. But isn't but it's true that I didn't make a contract. To devils, what's important is what we actually make a contract with humans so, who summon us. We then receive the prize from them. That's how devils have lived for a long time ago. I didn't know how to react because this is the first time I encountered an incident like this. You might have failed as a devil, but the client was happy with you. Uchu has a puzzled expression, but, then, but she then smiles. But it's interesting, that is certain. There wasn't any devil like you, but you really are an interesting boy. You might become the number one devil for unexpected things. Unexpected things, okay. But remember, do the basics. You make contracts with a client, you grant their wishes, 
and when you receive a prize, okay? Yes, I do my best. But you forgive my action. That alone makes me so happy, I feel like dancing. Bucho, next time, I definitely do it. End of part 4. Well, that was a short one. Part 5. At night, after I made my vow, once again, I'm doing my job. I'm on full throttle, pedaling my bicycle towards the client's house at night. This time, I'm heading towards a mansion that is 30 minutes away from school. It took me 30 minutes to reach, even through I was going at full speed. Yeah, you said it was 30 minutes away and you needed full speed 30 minutes. It's just normal. Why are you telling me that? The client isn't pissed, right? I stand in front of a door and rang the bell. A devil who has to ring the bell door? The doorbell truly is saddening. No, it's just odd. I also want to get summoned through the magic cycle soon. Then, after a short time, there is a reply through the interphone. It's open. Come in. No. It's really a thick voice. Is this a guy? Huh? No. Did he just say no? Yes, he said it. No, it must be my ears. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's not your ears. I opened the door, took off my shoes at the entrance, and walked timidly into the mansion. The moment I opened the door, I became speechless. Welcome, Nyo. A humongous body and an overwhelming presence. Oh, I might change the voice then. It's an enormous guy with incredible muscles wearing a gothic lolita outfit. Oh god, we're going this route, aren't we? If I look carefully, the buttons on the, button, uh, on the outfit look like they are about to fall off. There are also some places in this, which this outfit looks like it's about to get ripped. More than that, his eyes are filled with overwhelming killing intent, but his eyes have a glow of pure innocent person. A pure innocent person? What's that? No, the most unusual thing is his head. He has cat ears. Oh my. I swallow down my spit. A single sweat drops from my cheek. My hands are shaking because I'm getting nervous. This isn't a man. He is a, he is a man all among mans. Well, he might be so manly he might be gay or something like that. Sorry for my gay viewers. An overwhelming presence and the sense of being in danger. I have a hunch. A hunch that I will be killed in an unreasonable death. What's an unreasonable death for you? I don't know. Kill killing you with a club would be, well, very reasonable. Uh, um, uh, a devil? Did you summon a devil from the Gremory group? I ask him timidly. Flash! Ah, uh, savior of the universe. Uh, sorry, that comes sometimes. The man's eye glow while making sound effect. What? His eyes can make sound effects? That's cool and stuff. Also typo. It feels like there is an intense battle spirit between us. Oh no, the battle spirit. I'm going to get killed. <laughs> Even though I'm a devil, I changed my posure to, def to protect myself. Matt's... Sorry. That's right, Nyo. I called devil son because I wanted to make a wish, Nyo. Unexpected words came out of his thick mouth. His sent his his end set his end his sentence with no. He ends his oh shit. This this thing is not edited well. Impossible. Is he even allowed to do it? I want you to make to make Milton a magical girl, no. Please teleport to another world, when I give him the answer right away. It's impossible. That's really impossible. Seriously. I hold my head down because of his wish is something beyond, beyond what I expected. Really? Milton. What the heck is Milton? Well, apparently the guy. This man's word starts to confuse me. Uh, me not. I'm pretty much sure what he wants. With that body of yours, you can go to another dimension and return back here alive. You can probably defeat Satan as well. 
I already tried that, Mew. You actually tried it? But it was impossible, Mew. There was no one who would give Milton magical powers, Mew. Well, you can say that the situation is kind of magical. Didum dish. Me. The only option left is to ask my arch enemy, Devil Sun, Mew. I already have myself treated as an enemy without realizing it. But I won't say anything to him. Devil Sun? The voice released out by this man, Milton, shakes the whole room. Is that... what is this? Sound magic? Please give Milton a fantasy like power, Nya. It's not for a sentence. D don't worry, you look fantasy like enough. I'm the one who feels like crying. I start to cry for real. Wow, really a man, is eh? Really a man. Damn it! How come all my all the clients I'm in charge of are a bunch of perverts? What's the meaning of this? Well, a pervert meets a pervert. Nothing new, I guess, but I don't think he is so perverted. Why are you so mean-spirited to them, Miss A? He has just a wish. You're an asshole. Milton, Milton, calm down. I will listen to what you have to say. First things first, I think I need to calm this man down and listen to his story. Milton puts on a big smile with his scary face after he wipes his tears. Then, let's watch Magical Girl Milky Spiral 7 Alternative together, Nya. The story about the magic starts from here, Nya. My long night has begun. End of part 5. God. Part 6. It's already the next day, and I'm on my way home after a regular club activity ended. Huh. I made a sigh. Even today, Ucho put on a weird expression. My contract had become, become invalid twice in a row, but I got the best feedback. Ucho became confused again because she encountered an incident that she has never experienced twice in a row. Well, she has never experienced once, so, well, twice is kind of, you know, stupid. I'm sorry for getting involved in, weird, in a weird situation. Too late, bro. I feel bad, but it seems like my road to getting a peerage will be harder than I thought. Last night, I watched the anime DVD till morning with Milton. At first, I wasn't serious in watching it, but I got hooked to the magical girl anime due to his hot actions and the story which made me cry, so I ended up watching it till morning. Well, I have a thing for magical girls, so why shouldn't you? Besides that, what are all my of my clients of are a bunch of perverts? <laughs> Hudokun must have a demonic power that attracts people like that. Kiba said something like that to me earlier with his refreshing smile. Die, handsome! I hear that the chances of him being summoned by beautiful older women is high. Well, I mean... He's kind of handsome, so that should be expected. Damn it! What kind of contract does he have with them? Is it sex? Or sex related? No, I don't think so. Just thinking about it makes me want to murder him. Oh man, get your killing intent down. Shit! Damn you, Kiba! Why so many A's? How? What? How? What the fuck is that for a word? Hmm? Huh? A sudden voice. At the same time, I hear a voice from behind me. There's also a sound of something dropping to the ground. I hope that are not your balls. When I turn around, there is a sister who's on the floor. Uh, what does he mean with sister? She's spreading her arms wide open, has her face on the ground. That certainly is a clumsy way of falling down. Oh. Already we're getting an informed ability. Funny. Are you okay? I approach the sister, give her my hand, so she can stand up. Ow! Why do I keep tripping over? I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Judging from her voice, she's young. Is she the same age as me? 
I take her hand to lift her up. Wind blows. Why is this in italics? The sister veils files of because of the wind. Veils? What the fuck? How? How? What kind of person talks that way? Her blonde hair, which is hidden underneath, falls down onto her shoulders. Her straight blonde hair is sparkling with light because of the sunshine. Oh my. Then my face... Wait, no. Then my eyes move toward her face. Huh. <gasps> my heart is taken by her instantly. You're easily falling in love. A blonde-haired beauty is standing in front of me. I think that sound is blonde-haired beauty, not hair. <sighs> not important. Both of her green eyes look so beautiful that I that it feels I I'll be sucked into it. Why have you mentioned that both of her eyes are green? It's very specific I don't care. Huh Huh For a while I gaze at her. Hmm? It's it's something wrong? The sister looks directly into my face with a worried expression. Uh oh, sorry, um I can't say it. There's no way I can I can tell her that I was fascinated with her. Rather, this girl is is it. Yeah, I'm talking about that. Yes, that. She looks exactly like my ideal girl. Blonde beauty version. The fuck? Of course, I would be attracted to her. Of course, you're an idiot. It feels like I need to continue talking to her. Is this a flag? What kind of flag? I'm thinking something selfish like that. Then the traveling bag she is carrying on her shoulder appears to my eyes. Uh, it just appears to your eye. The fuck? No sense of positioning. I hate that. I don't know what's going on in this fucking story. If I think about it, it's a rare occasion I see a nun in a town. It's my first time seeing one. Oh, well, lucky bastard, I guess. Before that, I need to pick up her veil. Luckily, it landed nearby. T traveling No, that's not. I was appointed to a church in this town. It must be a, a resident ta of this town. It it's a pleasure to meet you. She bows her head. Hmm, getting placed in the church of this town? Staff reassignment? Looks like the church is also having a tough time. I have been in trouble since I got here. Hmm, I can't speak Japanese that well. I was lost and other people couldn't understand what I was saying. So why does Issei understand you then? She holds her hand together in front of her chest and looks really sad. So that means this person can't speak Japanese. So why the fuck do you understand her then? The reason why she can speak with me is because this is a power of a devil. Oh, that's a convenient plot device. That's what Bochu told me before. Yeah, she didn't tell us before, but okay, you made clear that. When you, t when you turn into a devil, one of the unique ability you attain is language. The moment you turn the moment you turn into a devil, everyone in the world can understand what you are saying. People listening to you will hear it in the language they are most familiar with. If they are American, they will hear it in English. If they are Spanish, they will hear it in Spanish. And also the opposite. If they speak a in a language besides Japanese, you will hear it in Japanese. Wow, that was a very well redundant sentence. Yeah, it's happening, just like Bocho said. Yeah, you still assume she's a liar or what? During the English lecture, I ha I heard everything in Japanese. I was shocked when I was told to read an English paragraph by the English teacher. I somehow read it all, and all in my cla all of my classmates looked shocked. Well, at least you won't fail English. Good thing. Of course they would. Since I can't speak English naturally now, so obviously my classmates will be shocked. Even the teacher froze because of it. I think that's a thing the anime did not show. I'm getting ahead of myself. Well, 
the letters and vocabulary didn't change to Japanese because it's limited to sound only. But that's good enough. It's too amazing if I can exchange language everywhere in the world. Just like that, I turned into an international high school student without any requirements. That's the first good joke I ever heard in this book. I think I might know where the church is. I think there is an old church in the outer parts of this town. I think it's that church. Yeah, you think it's a church. We don't want to harp on that. But is that church even used? Y you do? Thank you. This is all thanks to God. Please let God out of this bullshit. She smiles at me, then with tears flowing from her eyes. God. Damn it, I now used him again. This girl is really cute. I think that's the reason why you like her. But then, I, I look at the rosario glowing from her chest. It gives me an extreme negative reaction. Well, of course it does. Since I'm a devil, she is the type of human that, that I shouldn't talk or get involved with. But I can't leave a girl in trouble alone like this. It took a sister to, I took a sister to the church. This sister to the church, sorry. On our way to the church, we went past the park. <laughs> what I heard was the cry of a boy. Are you alright, Yoshkun? He will be fine, since he's, he's with his mom. It seems like he just tripped over. But suddenly, the sister, who's walking behind me, walks towards the park. Hey! The sister went inside the park and went towards to the boy, who's sitting down and crying. I also followed the sister. Are you okay? Boy shouldn't cry with a minor injury like this. Sister pats the boy's head gently. The boy probably didn't understand what she's saying, but the sister has a very kind expression. The sister puts her palm where the boy was injured, has injured himself. Next moment, I was in shock. A green light orb appears from the sister's palm and is flashing onto the boy's knee. What's that? Demonic powers? Buchu said that it can only be used by devils and someone related to devils, so it can't be. Then I look carefully. The boy's injury starts to disappear. Is this light from her hands healing the boy's injury? Apparently that's lay on hands, I guess. Something appears on my mind. Sacred gear. In my head is bullshit, but okay. The special power which is bestowed upon certain people. I think that's what Kiba said before. I somehow feel this this is as well. What? I somehow feel this is it as well. Oh my god, that's a sentence. Looking at the light makes my left arm age. This has to be related. Did my sacred gear react to her sacred gear? Is it responding to it? Then I look again. The boy's injury is gone. And there isn't even a trace left. Amazing! This is also the power of a sacred gear. There's so many different types of it. The boy's mother is in shock. Anyone who sees unimaginable things will have similar reactions. Unimaginable things, okay. Here, your wounds are healed. The pain should be gone now. The sister pats the boy's head and looks at me. I'm sorry, but I had to. She laughs while sticking her tongue out. That's very unsister-like, but okay. The boy's mother, who was shocked before, shook her head, then grabs the boy's hand and they, l and they leave quickly. Thank you, Nathan. The boy's words, words of gratitude. He he said thank you, Onei san. She smiles happily after I translated for it for her. That power. Yes, it's the power to heal. It's a wonderful power that gave that God gave me. She looks a bit sad, even through she's smiling. Somehow it seems like she has some dark past or something. Informed ability number two. I probably should get Get in, shouldn't get too deep into it. It's not the atmosphere where I should s say, actually, I have a sacred gear as well. 
It's an unusual power, and maybe some people may suffer because of it. Even I didn't feel happy when my sacred gear was covering my arm. Instead, I was really shocked. Still, I didn't know how to use the sacred gear, therefore I wasn't happy at all. The only thing I can use it for is to mimic Kamehameha. Oh really, bro? The conversation ends there, and we continued walking towards the church. We, re we reached an old church after walking for a few minutes. Man, this guy has really hard times coming up with different sentences. Yeah, the only church I know is this. It's just as old as I remember it. Well, it will not get younger, you know, it's a building. I never heard that this place is still being used, but you can see the light inside the church. So that means that there are people inside. Chills, chills, chills. What the fuck? I have chills and sweat are, sweats are coming out of my body. It's been like this bef what? It's been like this since before. Wow, really good sentence structure. I knew it. I'm a devil. So the church, which belongs to the god and the angels, will be an enemy t territory for me. Even Bucho said that I shouldn't get, that I never should get close to a church or shrine very strongly. Very strong. Ah, uh, never mind. Get this little place. I'm so glad. Sister shows a sign of relief after having uh, compared our location with a map she has. Oh, so this is the right place? That's good. Why didn't she show you the map is beyond me, but okay. I shouldn't stay here any longer. It's getting dark, so I should be going now. It's a waste to say it's a waste to say goodbye to a beauty like her, but I'm a devil and she's a nun. Yeah, natural enemies. I'm sure there will never happening anything like that. Love between different signs and sights may sound romantic, but this would be a different case. Yeah, you say that. That's because I'm getting really scared of a church. My whole body won't stop shaking. Well, if you know the story of a Catholic church, um, you should be scared. The sign of fear must be a special trait for devils. It feels like I'm a frog being watched by a snake. No, you're an idiot, idiot watched by a person who has way too much time on, her, on his hands. No, Rever, I'm a frog who doesn't know what to do after being found by the snake. When I will be on my way. Please wait. I say my farewell and try to leave, but the sister's words stop me. I would like to make you some tea as a gratitude for taking me here. Oh, I'm in a rush, so I I have to be get going. But Tretch... She's troubled. She's probably want, want to make me some tea to show her gratitude. But drinking tea here will be dangerous. It's a shame. But I have to refuse. My name is Hudo Ese. Everyone around me, around me calls me Ese, because it's her name. So you can call me Ese as well. What's your name? When I gave her my name, she responds with a smile. My name is Asia Argento. Please call me Asia. Well, Sister Asia, let's meet again. Yes, Ese san. I will definitely come and see you. Why is she using sun? Okay. Asya bows her head down. I left the place after waving my hands towards her. She watches, watched me until I was out of sight. I understand that she's a good girl. And that, and this was our fateful destiny. What? And this was our fateful destiny and our first meeting. End of part 6. Ah. Okay, I think we stop here. Next time, we continue with part 7 and the end of chapter 2, I guess. Until then, I hope you uh, read something better. I think that's a good thing. See you then next first day. Oh, you're still here? That means one of three things. One, you liked what you heard. If that's the case, I recommend that you show that by using the small thumbs up button below. Two, 
you wanted to see how deep the rabbit hole goes and stayed till the end. In that case, you might want to see how it continues by pressing that subscribe button. Or free, you fall asleep while listening. I wish you sweet dreams if that's the case and hope you come back for more sleep-worthy content. If you want to know something or have issues with what I'm doing, you might want to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to call me an asshole in the comments. And now for something else. Recommendations. As always, I recommend you check out Blasperus on DeviantArt. He does the art of a show and is a good artist in general. Link is in the description. I also recommend Shadow Elite's first impressions video on Tokyo Mirage Sessions, the Fire Emblem X Shin Megami Tensei game thingy. It gives you a good look inside on the one of the two only released uh, RPGs on Wii U. That's kind of sad, but hey, it's still a pretty good game, I guess. Make sure to check it out. Okay then, see you next Thursday with more... badness.